Hey, man, you know what? In the doctors, man. Elijah fears, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Industry Zero One. So, we are back with the final part for Resident Evil HD Remastered Edition. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you have been enjoying the walkthrough. First thing I want to do before we even continue on is we are going to do that last demo disc. I think I remember where it was. It was the one spot that I didn't actually go to because I was too afraid because there was possibly going to be a crimson head there and he still could be there so hopefully we'll be able to get in and out without getting killed hopefully he hasn't turned yet so all we need to do is go back to where that is I'm not sure if we could do it later after we have our first encounter with the, the tyrant so I would rather do it right now just to be safe because everything's going like kind of haywire when that happens so it's I think it's best to be uh, just in case so it's back in this room here, and it's gonna be exactly where that crimson head would pop out So that would be awesome to have a crimson head at the very end of the game And look at that look at that right on cue freaking right on freaking cue and it won't let me do it right now because I'm not close enough uh, All right, well Well, <laughs> we had a crimson in the very end. Look at that. We only had one other crimson, and that was a mandatory one that you automatically get. So that's kind of fun. All right, so we have unlocked everything we need to do. However, we're not doing it just yet. All right. So now we're going to get ourselves prepared for this fight against uh, the tyrant. The only thing we have left to do after that fight with the tyrant is to go back through this area again and worry maybe about those zombies that we left upstairs, but that shouldn't be too difficult to get by, I think. Hopefully not, it won't be. We are almost done with this. This has been such a great ride. Alright, let's just get ourselves ready. Um. Grenade. Grenade launcher is the best weapon to use against the first boss battle here. However, not the regular ammunition will do. Uh, what is it? Um, I think the acid rounds are going to be just fine. Heck, I don't even think we need that anymore. Um, we are going to go ahead and save again, just in case. Best to go ahead and make sure we have all that out there. Probably a first aid spray wouldn't hurt. And of course, Magnum. Well, we definitely need the grenade launcher. Some of these things I don't need right now. We're going to be able to come back through here again. The question is, do I want to take the time? Yeah, we don't need it. So let's just give ourselves what we need. So that just in case we get injured a little bit. Uh, and the shotgun for oh shit moments. That leaves us two open spots. And I think that should be good, right? Love the item management in this game. Way better than it was in Resident Evil 5. I'd even say I like this better than Resident Evil 4 because it's more tense. You know, you got to put things in boxes and you only have so much space. Which you, it's the same way in Resident Evil 4, but you get a ton of space in Resident Evil 4. Here it's definitely more realistic. Even though <laughs> we have big grenade launchers on our back. Uh, we ain't going to need that. So let's do... I don't know, another first aid spray. Just to be safe. And that's it. We'll go ahead and save. And then it is time for a tyrant battle. I just like going kind of in order. Make sure I don't save over something that I previously just did. Alright, let's go ahead and get out our grenade launcher and hope for the best.
Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for it, you know? Let's go. The atmosphere is so eerie. Is that an invisible wall? Yep. Alright, here we go. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Oh. Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. No, Barry! You viral cultured freak! Alright, so we can get one shot off there at least. Alright, so he should be coming around. As long as you're here and it make that kind of noise, and sh the camera angles can really throw you off. Obviously. It looks like we missed with that one. There we go. Sweet. Didn't take too long.
All right, I'll try to do this in my best Wesker impress impersonation. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitive liver virus. The prototype parasite which we delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the same specimen. The same specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The later of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me. The prototype parasite was incubating in the same specimen body for 21 years. Then, from the incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, maybe a more appropriate matter to describe it as. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to complete... Shit, verify my... Oh, damn it, that wasn't even Wesker. That was Birkin. Shanda. Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought it was... That it was gonna be Wesker. Make sure there's nothing else. I don't think there is. Barry! Barry! <sighs> Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. He didn't even make any noise when he left. He's like a sneaky, sneaky person. Bitch. <laughs> Actually, I did take... Ooh, I'm in caution. Look at that. That's all right. We're gonna... We're gonna build up right here in a second anyways. Now it is time to go save Chris, and then our last and final battle. Hopefully we're gonna get the good ending. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! I always thought Jill's eyes were weird, you know? Like, they just didn't make sense. Alright, so we don't need to go back into that save room. As there will be one more chance to save and get into our item inventory before we head to the final fight. Whatever you do, don't go straight here. Make sure you go this way. As there is um, another one of those creatures that will pop out. And they'll pop out right here too. Uh, but we're fast enough. Now we just have to worry about... Uh, uh, the zombies that were up in the next room. Although we might even just try to get get by the zombies. If we don't, we'll just use our defensible items that we have, which should make it really easy. Since we really, we have so many defensible items. We've done a pretty good job of not getting caught by the zombies. Because we're the stealth master. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. If you're in dire need of stuff, you can go back in the room and pick up some uh, uh, grenades. But we're not in dire need of things. We've been hoarding. I'm a. I'm a little bit of a hoarder.
Come on, let's go. Make a quick exit to the top of the screen, and that should uh, do it for this section right here. And now we just gotta go through the zombies. There should be two of them, I think, maybe. And like I said, we'll just tease them if we need to be. Oh, I'm going this way. Oh no, I'm going that way. Oh, he got me. Not a big deal. As I actually kind of want to use that method anyways, because we haven't been using it. Alright, so now we're going to have the chance to save for the last time and uh, check out our inventory and make sure that we are golden. So let's do this. Um, first thing is up. Okay, we're just going to get rid of the shotgun and say we don't need that anymore. Do another one of these. Sweet, that take care of that. Leaves two spots open, so we got our Magner, and we've got that. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and save, and then off to the final battle. Let's do it. Come on, come on, hurry! So it also gives you a lot of items if you need it, but we don't, we've got, I think two, two health should be fine. And we need one spot for the uh, rocket launcher anyways. Now you guys show up, huh? Kind of reminds me of Terminator a little bit, this, the way this looks. I don't know what the point of picking this thing up, uh, what the purpose of this was. Why, did, why wasn't it just in there already? Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Little elevator music. If you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you will understand. Yeah. You guys remember that from Mass Effect 3, huh? <laughs> will you take the signal rockets? Yes, I believe I will. Alright, I want to go ahead and get out my Magnum PI, and we are ready to do this. So I think it's best to wait until he picks him up. Looks like he's not going to.
Can't see him. Usually he picks him up there and it's a little bit easier when he picks him up. These camera angles, you gotta love them. Oh, that was so close. We are getting lucky. Damn reload chill. Actually, we can make this a lot easier if we just... Oh, we got six now. It's my noobisms. Oh, I wanted to get that without actually getting any damage. But... Takes you... Takes a lot of your damage right there, though. Chill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! So that would have been cool if we were able to do that without taking any damage, but eh. Shit. Nice. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go, Resident Evil complete. So normally the strategy for that ending there would be like let him, uh, let the tyrant pick up Barry. Um, if he picks Barry up and you don't do anything, then I think Barry can die there. So if you let him pick him up, then he's kind of in that animation of he's holding him and you can get off a lot of magnum rounds on there. But obviously it wasn't too difficult to do. I just wish we would have been able to not get hit once at the end. But you can't win them all. So like you said, you guys would like a Chris walkthrough, so I, I am planning on doing that. Um, thank you for all the love and support. It really means a lot to me, and I've enjoyed uh, you know playing this game again. It's been so long, and of course, next up will be Chris's. Uh, give myself a little bit of time, and then we'll get to doing uh, that walkthrough as there are some things going on on the channel right now. Obviously, Dying Light being the most important right now so again guys thank you so much for watching and i think there it's going to show us if we've unlocked anything specific here uh in the end so jill you did a fine job there we go like taking candy from a baby not in the mood to die uh yeah there you go creatures dispatched 29 ammo used 68 ink ribbons used 18 health items 11 four hours and 42 minutes of course this was no speed run we just kind of went through nice and slow we were rushing into places we searched and all that kind of stuff picking up things that i felt that we need we needed along the run but let's see what else we've unlocked jill has a new costume which that really doesn't mean anything since we can change costumes on the wind or should i say on a whim did i say on the wind <laughs> um I guess we'll do it at this. Yeah, we'll do it at this one. So now you can play like New Game Plus and all that stuff once again into the breach. And it should unlock uh, ending Jill 1. Not sure how to unlock these other ones. Maybe you have to beat, um, you have to beat 
both campaigns in order to lock the other ones or something like that. Um, I could also possibly do a different endings for Jill. Like, uh, you know, Barry can die, Chris can obviously die, you know, there's other things that I, that I could do. But um, what we got was considered the good ending, the one where everybody lives, the ones that matter, should I say. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe for some more Resident Evil and also for other walkthroughs, stealth games, all, all of you, the greatest things in the world. Blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Peace out, bitches.